what's up my little tabletops how you doing today well kylie jenner baby we feel a little bit sorry for you y'all kylie jenner is going through this breakup with travis scott now listen i know there's a lot of people i raised my hand up that thought that this was some type of cover-up that chris jenner was doing to cover up for the raw the rumors that rob you know had a little bit too much he was in love with the coco if you know what i'm saying but you guys judging by kylie's actions the way she's acting and what's going on yo this seems to be a fresh breakup it's just bad luck the end of the year brought so much calamity for the kardashians in 223 that who would have thought kylie would have called a stray let's be honest besides that dumb ish she pulled with jordan woods Kylie usually minds her business. I know she's always subbing people, doing this, doing that, but it's usually people that she don't mess with. People that they got beef with this other, with each other. She lives a pretty private life. You can't put on her what you put on Kim and Chloe. Again, I do remember the Jordan Woods things. But outside of that, but y'all, let's talk about this Travis Scott thing and what happened. What happened? Kylie decided to make to literally try to sub the wrong person. This is what the streets are saying. Megan the Stallion. As we know, Kylie invited Megan over after the Watt video. Megan is what's hot. All the Kardashians are clout chasers, but they are clout dementors. What do you call the things that horcruxes? What do you call the things that when they get towards you, they suck the life out of you. They are clout vampires. <laughs> they get close to you and you're like, yeah, I'll share my clout. And then before you know it, you're just like a, weather, a withered um, clout, um, a shadow of someone that used to have clout, right? So anyway, she invited Megan over to her house. Oddly enough, Corey Gamble was there. Probably, you know, they send Corey to make sure the blacks don't get out of control. You know, he loves shucking and driving, doing the thing. Anyway, Corey was over there. Uh, making sure the blocks didn't get out of hand. That's my interpretation. It's my opinion. And Kylie invited uh, Megan over. Megan bought Kelsey, right? They were chilling. I think there was Omar Beckham Jr. And Megan invited Tory Lanez. Now, once that happened, you know that leprechaun was like, oh, discovered a pot of gold. And he was trying to do what he could to get in Kylie's face because as we know, the men that love Kardashians, it's not just for the booty. It's not just for the beauty. It's the clout and fame. So Tori started being in Kylie's face. Megan ain't like that. We know what happened. They left. She came back. Megan found Tori and, I'm sorry, Tori, Corey. <laughs> Tori and Kylie in a super, super bad situation. An argument ensued. Kylie kicked them out. But if you don't remember, Kylie was gloating that Megan, you know, that she had a whole fit and this and that. People were saying that she was carrying on with, um, carrying on with, what's his name? Uh, Tory Lanez, the leprechaun, right? Shut up, he is a leprechaun. Ain't no shame. If y'all are leprechaun lovers, instead of arguing whether somebody is leprechaun heart and three apples tall, why don't you just like wave your, I love men that are three apples hot, tall. Stop arguing with facts and reality. Ain't no shame in loving a leprechaun. There's not. But just say, I'm a leprechaun lover. It's fine. Just say it. It'll release you. Anyway, y'all. So, you guys have the backstory, right? Now, let's get into what's happening. So, anyway, around the time that it come out what had happened, Travis Scott had started spending a lot of time with Meg The Stallion, probably to get Meg back. Because as you know, Travis and Tory Lanez, had beef. It was rumor. He pulled the hammer out on him. Tori did that with Trev, uh, with uh, Travis Scott. However, at the very least, we know they got into a heated conversation. That leprechaun was like, "What you gonna do? What's going to?" And Travis Scott was looking up and down at him like, "What am I gonna do? Oh no, I got a career. I got money. I got things to lose, baby. Get out of here with your leprechaun clout chasing." Now. That was fine. And because they lead private lives, they were able to keep it undercover. People are saying the newest thing that happened that enraged Travis was, one, it came out in the Meg Thee Stallion case that the whole world now knows that something was happening between Kylie and Tory Lanez. Travis was sick of being humiliated. The first time this happened is around the birth of his first kid when people were questioning whether that was um, uh, Tiger's baby. Now, the other stuff came out about Tory Lanez with their son 
I'm just saying that tor- that Taurus was like, I've had enough. He popped up with Sarah Snyder on his private jet. Now him and Kylie were chilling in Miami, having the best time, super loved up. They had holiday family plans together. That trial came out. Kylie's name got mentioned. Travis ghosted her on the family trip. She was so heartbroken. She went and chilled with her mom and her friends. They tried to rally her up. Um, And Travis allegedly, go watch my video, see if you think it's him. People spotted him on his private jet with Sarah Snyder. Sarah Snyder is Kylie's arch nemesis. Kylie's arch nemesis because Kylie's mad that Sarah Snyder was Jaden Smith's first love when Kylie wanted to be it. Go watch the old video if you want any more background. Is everybody up to date? Well, baby, this breakup, Kylie is doing everything she can to get Travis Scott's attention. Y'all, first of all, right? Um, Hold on. First of all, what's the first thing she did? She tried to uh, post pictures of her and Stormy saying, my love, my twin. Now that was just could have been a mother being like, oh my God, she looks just like me. Um, I don't really see it, but I guess I do. I don't know, right? It's her daughter. She looks like her. Um, and a lot of people were saying that that was Kylie desperate for Travis to be like, yo, I got your children. It's another reason why she had two kids by him because she got in her head. The more kids she had, the more he'd be attached. One kid, he can always go across and have another baby. Two kids, oh, you got him now. Now I know if this is true, if this is true, it's stupid. And if this is true, Chloe's the one that was in her ear giving her advice, which I mean, come on, we see the way Chloe works. But then she also started posting love six songs. She also posted a come hither shoot with her and her best friend Stasi wearing very close to the same outfit that Sarah Snyder was wearing where people rumored this is how she caught um this is how she caught Travis's attention as you see uh Sarah Snyder the cutie with the booty is literally in I believe the MCM uh uh the MGM uh hotel in Las Vegas uh, Kylie posted these pictures of her and her friend I guess double the pleasure. You know what I don't like about the Kardashians? Aside, what am I saying? There's a whole playlist on why I don't like. I find it very, very destructive, and people can do what they do, but I kind of find it very, very destructive that their brand of sexuality is um, fetish, if that's the word. Like, again, be into all that stuff, but she seems like she does it because it's like Katy Perry, I kissed a girl. You're not really into it. You're just doing it because that's how you know to get a man. But if you had your preference, you would just be on some plain Jane, vanilla stuff, staying in the house, just chilling with you and your man. Again, I don't care about lifestyle. Do what you want. If yeah, Listen, if that freak flag is flying, let it wave. But my issue is, again, it's just solely for the gaze of whoever's looking like I'll be whatever you want. But it just it's just something off about that. Again, I think that if Kylie had her way, she'd be on some plain Jane Mellow stuff, just chilling with Travis Scott. But she's doing what she can. And look at this map. Anyway, but here's the kicker. Kylie is posted love sick, love sick songs. One of them is talk to me right by i forget his name anyway here's the lyrics she posted this on her instagram live and then she immediately immediately deleted this okay she said oh talk so and again kylie's known for posting stuff on her feed and then immediately deleting it because she wants people to notice but then she doesn't want it to be up there for that long for people to talk about she's done this a bunch of times this is her thing this is how you know it was for someone She said, talk to me. Why don't you talk to me like you used to? You don't talk to me. Why don't you talk to me? Been in my, been in my, been in my bed for way too long. Been in my head for way too long. Um, Since you've been gone on and on, I'm searching. Like you used to, you don't talk to me. Why don't you talk to me? I thought that you were the best thing that ever happened to me. 
and I fell from you. God, please help me. Said, now I see all I need. Talk to me. Why don't you talk to me? So clearly Travis is icing her out again. Travis felt really humiliated. If the rumors can be believed, I would imagine he felt super, super, super humiliated by that Kylie and uh, Tory Lanez. Now get this, young sweet bro, Travis ain't an angel. He's rumored to have a side chick for the longest, even though it seems like they're off and um, Sarah Snyder's on. That's why they broke up because she knew she was about to be embarrassed. But also, um, let's be real. The streets have been saying that Travis was never really faithful to Kylie. Again, I get that, but it got a hit different where Kylie leaving her private life, seeing somebody else, but it's somebody that literally humiliated you, clowned you, punked you, and you know that I don't like this guy. Again, same way Travis hit her back with, if this can be believed, hit her back with uh, Sarah Snyder. Do what you want, run around, but you know I don't like this girl. You know I got beef and this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Then she posted uh, the scissor song. Listen to this lyrics. Took a long vacation. No makeup, just Jay-Z. Mm. You were B deep. B-A-L. Mm. Deep. Now we beefing. Had me be naked at the MGM. So wasted screaming F that. Love me now. But I'm anything. Hurry now, baby. Uh, anyway, I'm going to scissor be going in on her lyrics. She said, it's too late. I don't want to lose what's left of you. How am I supposed to tell you? I don't want to see you with anyone but me. Nobody gets me like you. How am I supposed to let you go? Only like myself when I'm with you. Nobody gets me, but you do. You do. Nobody gets me. You do. Anyway, took me out of the ballot. You proposed. I went on the road. I was feeling empty, so you left me. Now I'm stuck dealing. Mm. If I'm real, I deserve less. If I was you, I wouldn't take me back. I pretend when I'm with a man, but it's you. I know that it's too late. I don't want to lose you. Um, I don't want to lose you. Um, what am I? I don't want to see anyone with you. Blah 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 blah. Only like myself when I'm with you. Nobody gets me. Woo! She said, "I pretend when I'm with a man, it's you." And now I know. Listen, these are some deep, deep lyrics. Kylie is going through it. Kylie is even putting stuff out there saying that they probably won't get back together, which honestly, they are always off and on. But here's the thing, and this is what I feel sorry for Kylie, and I wish Kris Jenner would get, get her. Kylie's never really on with Travis. They show up, but he never lets her claim him. He never lets her get new, too comfortable, and that's in the best of times. And now they're in the worst. Girl, I actually feel for Kylie. You got two kids, but again, you're cute. You're young. You're definitely a multimillionaire. You want people to think you're a billionaire. You're going to be, you're going to be okay. But you're going to have to move on from Travis because, baby, again, you don't have to argue with a Taurus. When a Taurus wants you, they will make it known. And nothing you do will change that. And the minute it does change, you'll be the first to know. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. And I will talk to you later.